The line graph below shows the percentage of people who owned a herd of unicorns for a community. <laughs> Sounds interesting. There are 2,600 people in the community, so we'll use, I don't know if we need it for six, but five certainly. How many more people owned herds of unicorn in 2000 than 1995? So these are percentage, and it looks like it wants the number of people, right? And our population here is 2,600. So in 1995, we've got 50%. And in 2000, we have 60%. Yeah. So it looks to me like there's a couple ways we can do this. Okay, we can kind of figure out the difference in percentages and find that percent of the people. Or we can find how many people there were for both years and then just subtract those. But both should work. So, I don't know. I guess we can try both. So let's see. Again, we're going to use these same values here. So we got 2,600 people. All right, so here's the information we need. Let's take a look. If we do this percentage-wise, we've got 60% minus the 50%. That tells us the difference, which is 10%. And then we're just looking for 10% of that 2,600. So again, you can use a percent proportion I recommend it, but some of you guys hate it, and that's okay. You just multiply 2,600 by 0.1, yeah, whatever you want to do, 2,600. We got x. So this gives me my cross multiplication, 100x equals, cross multiplying these two, 26,000. And then we divide both sides by 100. And so we're going to cross out these zeros and the 100s. And we find that it would be about 260 people is the difference. So it asks, how many more people owned herds of unicorn in 2000 than 1995? 260 people. That's it. I'm going to abbreviate that because I ran out of space. Yeah, We'll see. So if we use two proportions, let's look uh, at 1995, and this will tell us how many people. So 1995, we got a percent proportion, because we know that 50% of the people in 1995 had a herd of unicorns. And this is out of 2,600 people for x. Again, we would cross multiply these. And if we did, it appears that we would have 1,300 people. I skipped a few steps. Is that okay? Because if it's not, I'll go over them. All right. And let's look at uh, 2,000. So same proportion except for instead of 50%, it was 60% out of 2,600 people. And we'll solve for X. This one's a little different, though, so um, yeah, when we cross-multiply, we get x equals uh, 1560. Yeah, that's right. Okay. So in 1995, it was 1,300 people in 2000, 1,560. So how many more people in 2000? We'll just take those two numbers and find the difference between them. And that gives us the 260 people, just like we found before. So you get to decide which way you prefer. That's all just percentage work, which is from a previous unit. So hopefully it's not too bad.